Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Nintendo news with Red Rex and Alex. Hi. <laughs> Before we actually get started, I have to take care of something in the background, so I will be with She says hello? Yes. Okay, never mind about that um, occurrence. But anyway, so we got more Nintendo news, and this one is not really like um like gameplay what game news but it's more like um shocking news something that might actually interest alex and actually scares me oh wait why does it scare you because uh just read the headline of this article right here nintendo just got sued for five million dollars over joy con drift by a child yes oh believe it or not he's even he's not even the first nine-year-old to sue yeah so That's this guy, not... so this, so Lou Chris actually sent me this, and this guy, and he told me, dude, you gotta report this. Like this is just, he, he, like this, like he just like uh, standing. Even I'm like shocked by this, and I haven't even read the article, so I'm already like, what? Sooner. You wanna know why? Because the fact that you literally have to buy new controllers because the old ones just stop working after months is stupid. Well, um, I want to see what this article is all about, so let's get into it. Because oh. I'm actually interested in this. I'm happy. Oh, All right. God. So Joy-Con drift has been a problem for the Nintendo Switch pretty much every, pretty much since day one. There have been complaints, lawsuits, homemade fixes, and accusations that Nintendo doesn't want to fix the problem. I mean, the thing is that they have offered repair services, but they've only been in select reasons, and they've only offered them in the background. So, like... Is that, like, they don't have a real good way to fix the problem. That's... And it is problem especially the longer that the switch is out and they're like people will experience drift more and more yeah i mean the thing is that they have been i heard that there is a rumor that apparently a nintendo switch pro is coming out in march of 2021 that is apparently going to apparently remove the joy con drift problem but and that, should, that shouldn't just be something to remove yeah i mean like i mean i mean that's so bad like like hey you know how your switch just broke here's a solution just buy a new console without that problem like that's not a really good idea it's like saying hey i see that your playstation like your fucking state-of-the-art playstation that came out a few years ago oh the controller's not working anymore oh i got a simple fix for it just buy the pay playstation 5 <laughs> fine it's only 500 dollars it'll come with a control it's okay yeah, yeah speaking of which i'm not buying the playstation 5 if anyone was wondering <laughs> i am doing that anytime soon i don't I have no like seriously. I have not given a dime to Sony, and I ain't starting now. I have, but that's because I play Kingdom Hearts, and uh, that has to happen. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is that uh, Kingdom Hearts three came out on Xbox One, so uh, fuck Sony. <laughs> I don't think any of the others will. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I mean, those words now. <laughs> but God, no, I can't spend like money on PlayStation Five when I'm about to get fucking just drained by i have birthdays to like give presents to and then there's christmas that's coming up and ugh. yeah it's a lot yeah i gotta watch my money as well i mean yeah, i'm probably but, on getting you a birthday present and probably a christmas present but i gotta watch my money i please don't be anything big i tell everybody this don't story. worry trust me dude all right i'm gonna spend the minimum of anywhere from 40 to 60 bucks okay thank that's still a lot though Eh, it's not a lot. I mean, dude, with the job I'm working right now, trust me, it's not a lot, actually. Yeah, but still, I I tell, I actually don't tell a lot of people this, but I don't feel comfortable with people spending a lot of money on me. And it's just, because I don't have anything to give back. That's the thing. So, except for Christmas, like, my birthday, I don't have anything to give back. So well, dude, it's your birthday. You're not supposed to give anything back. I mean, like, for other people's birthday, okay, we shouldn't be talking about this on, like, this video, but... <laughs> okay, let's actually continue with the article. Now, the company has been, has been hit with another class action lawsuit, but this one is noteworthy because one of the pamphlets is a literal child and his mother because minors generally aren't allowed to have lawyers, okay? Oh, fuck, I should do this. <laughs> the complaint has been filed in Northern Cal California by Luz Sanchez and her unnamed son. According to court documents, Sanchez bought a Switch in December of 2018 for her then 10 year old son the complaint alleges that the controller started registering false moves within a month even when they weren't being handled wow a month 
I hope the switch is used because if this is a new switch, um, that's horrible. Actually, even like it hasn't been handled. So you're telling me that like after a month of like not really being used, like it just automatically like goes to shit. A month? That's really bad. I'm hoping the switch is used. Like I'm hoping they bought this used. Yeah. I mean, for me, it took like a couple months, but even then. Like, like I mean, like the thing yeah. is that the that Joy-Con drift didn't really become a problem until July of 2019. That's when I really started hearing about this problem. Yeah, I don't know. But all right. Um, well, we're not even like done with the article. So, oh my god. You're starting, and it's already going to shit. Well, let's see. Within a year, the controls became completely unusable. Okay, this sounds about right. Uh, yeah. Forcing Sanchez. To reluctantly buy another set of Joy Cons, but the complaint alleges that they started drifting seven months later. Hmm. Um, well, all right. Oh my God, that's just oh man, damn. I mean, unless the Joy Cons were used, that's even then, that's still not great. Yeah, like seriously, if you're like, if you're buying used like products, you gotta expect there's gonna be problems. But like, even like this being used, that's still a problem. Yeah, within seven months. It's a lot um i remember that my new ones uh when i first bought my switch i think that after like eight months maybe it did start to get a bit wonky and by the time it hit like a year it was really like eh, it was getting bad yeah that's why i'm scared about the nintendo switch light like alex i don't know if you know this but or anyone but i have a nintendo switch light you did tell me that yes yes and i have a pro controller the thing is that the the uh, six arc you can't detach them like the regular Nintendo Switch. So if the six fuck out, your entire system needs repairs. That's why I'm scared of using these uh, sticks. I don't yeah. want I don't want to avoid using these at all costs. I don't blame you. <laughs> That's why I bought a bow controller. Yeah, honestly, because having to like that's the problem. Like if you have to replace your entire console or at least repair it just because your controllers got fucked. That's just really bad design. Like, like, I, on purpose or on accident. On mm -hmm. purpose, it's bad enough. On accident is also pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Like, control is fucking out. That has never been a problem. Like, I remember, like, when I was younger, my my brother would always, like, throw the controls to the ground whenever they lost a match of Call of Duty or um, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Like, control is fucking out because of that. That's understandable. Oh, this, I, this is not. Don't even get me started about just my Xbox One controller and just how... Fucking war torn it <laughs> But it still works. That's the thing. Even after like two years, it still works. Oh my god. Like seriously, the controllers have definitely seen some battle scars from uh <laughs> from either sweaty hands or from just being thrown to the ground. Honestly, yeah. That's what couches are for. That way they just softens the impact. Yeah. But the floor, uh not so much. Yeah. It's a story all too familiar to Switch owners to the point where Nintendo has apologized for issues and offered free post warranty fixes for defective controllers. Well, that wasn't until after a similar class action lawsuit was filed against the company, which is currently in operation. Sanchez's lawyers argue that Nintendo hasn't an, hasn't enough in, I guess, hasn't done enough. Yeah. Both to fix the issue and to warn customers that drifts is a potential problem. Defendant continues to market and sell products with full knowledge of the, de of the defect and without disclosing the Joy-Con drift def defect to consumers in its marketing, promotion, or packaging. Defendant has had financial motive to conceal the defect as it did not want to stop selling the products and or would need to expand, expend a significant amount of money to cure the defect. That is probably the biggest problem because at this point, the only way to really find out about Joy-Con Drift beforehand is for someone who has a Switch or who knows about the Switch to tell you, who has already experienced just the shitty controllers essentially yeah like seriously like it like this like imagine if this was like a like you were signing a contract this should be and like this should be stated in the contract yeah now imagine like, now imagine you're going to gamestop like if if you're buying this from a gamestop employee they should like i feel like they should have like i have a like at least address this in a way it's like going to a fucking like car dealership and it's like oh yeah you know like the car is fine but when you start driving it after a couple months you find out oh sometimes the steering wheel doesn't work that can be a problem <laughs> so, i mean i feel like i mean like i mean i don't think they're like one in the same but i think i can see what you what you're trying to say well i mean both of them 
rely on like the important parts of controlling the thing, but one of them will kill you, the other one will make you mad. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, if it was the car, I think I'd be Not more worried about the car than the console. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. <laughs> While but it's... The point, oh. That's the point. Like, with the car, you're gonna be more pissed about it. But, <laughs> yeah, obviously, my life's on the line. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, they, well, it's just like, I just gotta fork over more money, and some people are willing to do that, but, you know, you shouldn't have to. Because... And plus, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. While it seems really strange to have a nine-year-old as a pantaliff in a lawsuit, it makes a bit of a little bit of sense. The switch was for him, after all, and he would have had to deal headache of having to game while Joy-Con Drift is screwing around. That is understandable. Like seriously, like I do not want to experience Joy-Con Drift. Like Alex, you're experiencing it, and you've made it sound I, super horrible. So, and I don't want to. I don't want to experience it. The worst thing, I, I sometimes I just can't play Smash because. Yeah, I've noticed you, I have noticed that you have been playing Smash recently, because, like, whenever I am on my Switch, I see that guy, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Because that's the thing, is that sometimes it works better with single Joy-Cons, which I tended to use anyway, um, but then I won't be able to go right, so I have to usually just go left or jump. <laughs> because jumping, going up, does seem to, like, when you're putting one directional input in, it seems easier to go diagonal than it is to go right for, like my Joy-Con drift. That might just be for me, but it also might be like, diagonal works. Like, one direction might just work better for some, for all the fucking Joy-Cons. But the point is, is that it really makes it harder because... <laughs> fuck, I don't know. But another comparison is with whenever I play Three Houses, every time that I would touch the right stick at all, I would have to worry about flicking all the way to the top of the map and then having to slowly crawl it down every time I want to do a move. Do you know how many turns it takes in Maddening Mode to do one chapter? Like, do you know how annoying Chapter 5 was? Chapter Having 5? Two, isn't four. that the... It's see. the Miklon chapter. The oh. one with the fucking power where you spend several turns just walking. Oh my god, that chapter. Up. Fucking it does that. And then, the, and then the chapter after that, the Death Knight chapter? Oh, that's, that's not fun. And let me tell now, you. Now, the Death Knight chapter, I actually have found a solution to that. I just warp. I just have someone with warp, warp Sylvain into the Death Knight room, and I use Night Nailer with the Lance of Ruin. That's fair, but at the same time. Yeah, when also, you and me do a Blue Lions playthrough, I'm going to show you how to one turn that chapter. That's also B rank in uh, Faith Magic, as well as you need either Linhart, um, Lysithia, and there are probably other people, but I don't remember. Uh, Manuela, but she's not available yet. Yeah, so it's really just those two. Yeah, but don't worry. When we do our Blue Lines uh, Maddening Mode playthrough with no new game plus, I'm going to show you how to one-turn that chapter very easily. I can't wait. Yep, that's going to be, that's gonna be but... in the future. Not this year, but maybe next year. I got to see. Yeah, see what happens. Mm -hmm. But yeah, regardless, Joy-Con Drift is not fun, and it sometimes just makes you want to not play with the console ever again. Trust me, I know. Oh god. Alright, so let's see. Weirdly, there's a pre predecent for it as well because a nine year old Sue Nintendo, along with Major League Baseball and LGN games back in 1989, after being disappointed by a baseball video game, he wanted the game to be discontinued for failing to live up to its promises as well as having the $40 he spent returned. Damn. What? What do, you, what do you not like about this game? And it didn't live up to my full expectations. I want my money back and I want the game to be discontinued. I want nobody else gets to fucking play this game. No one has to experience what I did. What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, oh. I've never heard about this before. That's taking it to the next level. And on uh, the one hand, that's amazing amounts of respect. On the other hand, holy shit, they did a lawsuit about this. Oh my god. Well, uh, that's the whole article. Okay. Oh god. Well, I have to say, props to this kid and his mom, because spending I, five million dollars on this lawsuit, though, I, that's impressive. That, that's a lot. That's a lot of money that I know I don't have. Um, so <laughs> I know for a fact that uh, Nintendo's lawyers uh, might might uh, might be better. <laughs> so I probably 
most people probably would not try to sue Nintendo or like any company like that because the average person is just gonna have to deal like bitch and complain on a forum at best um instead of like i mean that's what i would expect this nine-year-old to do but no he's taking it to the next level he's taking it like five levels ahead like there's he's, he's suing it. for it and you know what i respect it yeah I'm, i am i'm yeah i mean like this got posted let me see this got posted uh, two days ago so who knows we might actually hear a follow-up about this if we do i'll definitely report about it again i can't wait i can't wait to have my joy cons be fucking replaced and for I free can, finally i can move right oh my god i mean like i know that there are solutions like you can get these repair like you send it but the thing is that some of these repair solutions you have to send your entire switch in. it's like i don't trust like i don't trust i don't trust the male people with my switch like so many things can happen like it can like it's it's not I, I, like I would not feel safe mailing my switch to another destination. Honestly, me neither. And to add on to that, with like an epidemic literally going on, I don't think you really want to hand your console <laughs> over to really touching and having it in your house and like just with you all the time. Yeah, yeah. Like your oh, oh. like they fix your switch, but when it comes back, you got a delivery of Corona on your hands. It came with Corona. Here's your brand new switch back. It comes with Corona, warranty free. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, go on your Switch, uh, limited one, limited <laughs> edition. Yeah, the yeah, Corona doesn't come with your Switch's warranty. It avoids your warranty, actually. Free shipping, obviously. Free sh <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, I don't, I'm, I have not experienced Joy-Con Drift. I'm not looking forward to experiencing it. I'm going to use my Pro Control as long as humanly possible. Because I know for a fact this can't fuck out. Oh, yeah. That's the smart thing to do. Um, honestly, the only reason why I didn't buy a Pro Controller was just because it costs so much fucking yeah, money. Yeah, like, pro, like I don't know why controllers cost so much money nowadays. They Like, the Switch Pro Controller it costs $70, which it's stupid, but I can understand why, because it's got... Wait, it costs $70 for you? It costs $70 to this day. I, I went to fucking Black Friday, and that shit was going for, like, 90 What? Alex, what, what, where did you go? Uh, just the GameStop that was nearby. I went to GameStop was... and do it. It wasn't even Black Friday. What? Wait, it cost, it cost more on Black Friday? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Black Friday was not a good day for me. I tried to buy, the only thing I tried to buy there was God of War, and they didn't have it. And oh my god, you had, did not have a good Black Friday. No, it was fucking horrible. <laughs> oh my god, that is, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Day, we did buy a bunch of uh, like movies for one dollar each, and then sold them at school for two dollars each. So, <laughs> uh, wow, uh, wow, talk about mark, wow, talk about marketing. Oh uh, yeah, stonks, man. So I mean, like I can understand the price of the Pro Control because it has NFC, HD Rumble. The the controller practically melts in my hands and it feels comfortable to hold. I can't. An Xbox One costs sixty. A PS4 costs, I believe, sixty. Now the Why? like the PS4, it's also a similar situation because it has a bunch of features built in that does make the price understandable. But then the Xbox One controller is pretty much identical to the Xbox 360 controller in terms of features, and it's sixty-five dollars. Like, did all the money go into giving the thumbstick tire tracks or something? I just I don't understand because why is it that, like, okay. Microsoft and Sony could milk people for the fucking controllers more than Nintendo because you literally need the controllers or you can't play the game. Sometimes you have to buy them because they don't come with the console and that's like an extra $60. But with the Switch, it's already a mobile console. It already has the Joy-Cons, but Nintendo realizes you're not going to want that shit because they're bad and they go bad after a short period of time. That's just how it is. So you have to spend even more money to buy something that you probably think you won't need until you do need it. And then it's like, well, shit, now I gotta spend like, well, either 70 or $90 on a fucking Pro Controller. Like, Joy-Con controllers like, nowadays go for like 50 bucks. Like, that's understandable. And like, the thing, what I hate about this is that the Pro Controller, like, if you're, if you don't want to experience Joy-Con drift, obviously go with the Pro Controller. But the problem is that there are some games that are not that 
you need Joy Cons for. Yeah, because of like either motion controls or like just the Pro Controller is incompatible. Yeah, like okay, and I'm only gonna name like a few games. Let's see, Super Mario Party, uh, One Two Switch. Um, let's see, <laughs> what? Uh, you know the fucking like the new Ring Fit game that isn't new at all. It came out like a year ago or something. Oh yeah, and um, oh yeah, and Fitness Boxing that's coming out December fourth, two days after my birthday. <laughs> So yeah, uh, games like that. I mean, but obviously, like I feel like out of all those games, the only game I would really want Switch control um, Joy Cons for are Super Mario Party, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, like, uh, that's the only game I feel like I would really use the Joy Cons for. Any every other game, I would just use the Pro Controller for. Yeah, because just first of all, the Joy Cons just feel weird sometimes. Yeah. And yeah, I have heard like compare. Uh, sorry, but sorry to cut you off, but I've heard that compared to like the um the uh, regular switch, like the buttons feel like super clicky and like they yeah. they aren't like the best things to hold. What the Joy Cons? Yeah, no, they're not, not at all. I mean, I mean, but um, Alex, you do have like I do know like. For you, like the thumbs, the left thumbstick on your Joy-Con, like you use that. But what about that uh, thing you call a D-pad on the left Joy-Con? Can't you just use that for three houses? Oh, uh, I'm glad that you asked that. For the map, you can, and I do that like when I'm in battles. But for instance, when you're traveling in the monastery, you have to use the. Yeah, I know that. But I'm like, why not? But that's what I do because when I play three houses for or um, Path of Radiance on my uh, dolphin. I just, I'm sorry, but I can't use, like, the thumbstick on the map. It just doesn't feel right. I have to use a D-pad. See, that's what I try and do. But then sometimes, even then, it'll still go and, like, have Joy-Con drift, even when I'm using the fucking D-pad. And either it's because... What? Of, I, I don't know. But sometimes it's just because... Like, sometimes it's an honest mistake because, like, oh, I'm hitting the D-pad and my, like, thumb and my hand is, like, right over the joy uh the joystick that's like right underneath the d-pad so it's like yeah if i flick that accidentally then yeah it's gonna go nuts but sometimes i'm just hitting the d-pad and it just goes up and there's no reason for it it's like what? oh my god that is horrible i didn't re oh my god i didn't realize uh, that it, it whacks out even when you're not even using the i thought it only whacks out when you're using the thumbsticks well no because sometimes even when i'm not touching it if I don't use it for long enough, then it'll just go up and flick around again. Oh my so, god, Jesus Christ. Second you have, and count it as a blessing. If you can last longer than 15 seconds without it flicking around anywhere, you are having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, now I feel even worse for you having Joy Country. I thought it only, I was under the impression that I only whacked out when you actually used the, the sticks. To put it into perspective, Chapter 5, which without Joy-Con Drift probably would have taken, I would say, I don't know, maybe like a half hour. Uh, for me, it takes like 40 turns, so eh, half hour, 45 minutes for me. But it would take like an hour to an hour and a half. Like, it would at least double the time. Oh just my because god. It, it's a pain in the ass. And it's just, like, if it happens only once or twice per map, then it's like, all right, that's understandable. It's not that bad. But I mean, like, but this is a problem that shouldn't even exist in the first place. Yeah, but I honestly still believe that this is a purposeful bug. And if not a purposeful bug to put in, it's a purposeful bug that they haven't fixed. Because they're making too much money off of it. And this is the only time where they've had really any pushback on it. So it might change now. Depending on how a lawsuit goes, mm -hmm. they'll make a settlement or whatever. A statement but, saying we're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and if that's all we get, well then fuck you, Nintendo. That's all I can say. I mean, listen, I still love Nintendo with all my heart, but at the same time, y'all are some bitches sometimes. Um, I don't know. Sometimes it really grinds my gears. Yeah, and like I'm hoping that this this new um this rumored Nintendo Switch Pro isn't like gonna have the same problems. Like they have like hinted that it's not, but at the same time I'm still scared. They hinted at it, and that bothers me. And the thing is that I'm also that's why I'm holding off not buying a Switch this year. I was gonna buy a regular Switch this year, but I'm holding off on it so that way I can buy this new Switch when it actually gets released. Yeah, at this point when like new stuff is gonna come out. Don't buy the old stuff. Wait for the new stuff because 
Um, yeah, that happened. Yeah, uh, uh, Alex, you know the new Nintendo 3DS, right? Yes. That got revealed in January of 2015. I have a little story for you. Um, so I decided that I, I wanted to play Super Smash Brothers, and I bought a Nintendo 3DS in, in on Christmas of December of, of December 2014. One month later, I'm feeling sick. I'm having a fever. I'm watching the Nintendo Direct that's happening, and I see they're revealing a new Nintendo 3DS XL, and I am pissed as all hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Oh my but... god. Like, that is just... That is just... I don't even know how to feel about that. Like, I am just like, I'm, I was so sad that day, and I threw up like 15 minutes after the direct ended. I I don't know whether that's because of the direct, or if that's just... No, I was just feeling sick. Uh, I could I say would... that without a shadow of a doubt. Well. But like, this is a problem that Nintendo has. Like, they have, like, th I'm not falling for it this time. I'm waiting until that Switch Pro comes out. I'm not, I've fallen it for one too many times. I understand that. Honestly... I just want a 3DS right now, more than I'd say I want a Switch. Well, uh, Alex, uh, they're not they're not making 3DSs anymore. They just they made a they literally discontinued this uh, 3DS line. Their production of it like two or three weeks ago. Oh, oh, wonderful! That's so if you want to snag a 3DS, um, you're gonna have to like buy it, use it at GameStop, or like buy it new online. Hmm. Time to cry. I was like, man, I miss playing Echoes. Fuck. I'm like, I mean, like, it's under like, dude, they didn't have any major games releasing for that. No, I understand that. But still, fuck, I really wanted to, like, play my old 3DS games because I still have most of them. I lost my fucking Echoes cartridge, though, because when I lost my 3DS after it broke, I also lost the Echoes cartridge because that was still in it because, of course, I was playing Echoes again. Why wouldn't I? I mean, they're not making them anymore, but you can still buy a refurbished one online at their website for 100 bucks. But still, that's... That's something, at least. And plus, But the thing is that that's, that's refurbished. Like, I don't like buying refurbished, like, things. Like, case in point, the Switch. <laughs> yeah. Like, th like, they're, like, when the Joy-Con Drift really started hanging out, or when it like first started getting major last year, people were like selling their refurbished Switch consoles online, and basically this what they were was that they were basically Switches that had Joy-Con drift that were fixed, and now they were selling them because they didn't want it to be their problem anymore. Fixed or fixed? Yeah, like 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 I did not like that. That's like I was scared. Like I didn't buy a Switch back then because I didn't like the idea of buying refurbished stuff. And I don't like buying a Switch now because I'm hearing rumors about a Switch Pro coming out early next year. Yeah, I guess it's really just, well, next year's a few months away. So. Yeah, like, I mean, I, would get, I mean, it's rumored to come out in March. Well, that's only about five months, so honestly... As I can wait, we're... I can wait. Like, seriously, I got my Switch Lite here. I can wait. Yeah, worst case scenario, it doesn't happen. Then you can buy it if you want, mm -hmm. or... And right. if it doesn't come out in March, I'm just buying a regular Switch to, then and there. I don't care. I'm not waiting. That's fair. Because really, if you want a Switch, I honestly like I've used a Switch and a Switch Lite, and if you and if I'm really being picky here, I would honestly just go with the regular Switch, even though it has Joy-Con drift, just to get a regular Switch. Yeah, I guess. All right. So uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's really all we have to talk. That's all. I'm sorry that we don't have a um, you know, our usual um. Rad Rex and Alex reacts to Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase video yet, but the thing is they haven't put out the October version of that yet, so who knows, maybe in a week or so they'll put that out and then you can see me and Alex react to that. Hopefully, but so far we've definitely been doing a more than enough, but uh... Yeah, I mean I've been looking around for rumors of that thing happening, I'm hoping for a regular Direct, nothing has happened, but <laughs> I'm really scared <laughs> because I'm I'm hoping they announce Brady Default. Like, come One on. day. One day. They'll yeah. announce it. I know they will. Like, I know they will. The game's coming out, I promise. It's coming out this year, so <laughs> we gotta hear something about it. We haven't heard anything about it since March, but we'll hear something about it, I'm sure of it. Today's the day. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video, which will probably either be a Justin and Pride video or the Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Either way, thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and have yourselves a damn good one. See you next time. Bye.